Sinclair, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Tuesday, October 26, 2010. Sold BP's four oil wells in the Gulf of Mexico to a Japanese company for 650 million bucks, money they need to pay for the oil spill tab. Iran is moving ahead with its intranet. Translation, government-censored content and no access to the real World Wide Web. Gotta love Iran. Lawyers for a death rower being executed today in Arizona argue the lethal drug being used are not FDA approved. That's a new one. The state must show proof. The hiccup girl from St. Pete, Florida, made famous on the Today Show for her marathon case of hiccups, is being charged with murder. Looking for an excuse to quit smoking? Here's one. Midlifers who are heavy smokers increase their chances of Alzheimer's by 157%. Job opening. I told you so. Yankees pitching coach Dave Island got his walking papers. Bowl champ standings. Here you go. Auburn first, Oregon second. Second, Boise State third. USA Today coaches poll has Oregon first, Boise second, and Auburn third. Brett Favre has two fractures in his left foot and a giant bruise to his ego. He might be out for Sunday's game against the Patriots. Bears coach Lovey Smith is doing the coulda, shoulda, woulda about second guessing the refs' call against Cutler and his third quarter stretch down. And so long to the Sony Walkman. The revolutionary personal cassette player is going the way of the A track. Hello, Smithsonian. Your New York weather forecast. Mostly cloudy and 72 thunderstorms later. That is your New York wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.